When we say no exceptions, we are referring to unaliving them and then removing them. We do very much have no problem with removing the baby to save their life. I think you're misunderstanding. No, I'm not. Ellie, uh, Ellie Beth Stuckey stands for that it's life no matter how it it is, no matter what. So even if a child is molested and gets pregnant because of that molestation, it, uh, she sees that as that was God's will. I don't believe that it, it is God's will that um, anybody be raped. Uh, that's why I was trying to explain about purging the evil from your midst. Um, Adam and Eve were not conceived. They were made from the dust of the, well, Adam was made from the dust of the earth. Eve was made from the rib of Adam. They were never babies. They were never in the womb. And God called them man and woman. So life, in my opinion, because that's what God said at the beginning, is the mind and the heart, yet the radical right wants to say, nope, there's a heartbeat. Okay, well, all of the animals that God created that he said Adam would have dominion over also have heartbeats. And in some cases, a mind, not like the human mind. So it's not just the heartbeat that makes a life, it's the mind. I think God wanted us to reason and use sound judgment with these things and consider being a caring person. Um, I, I look at uh, Jesus' life very much as um, many of the arguments that he had with the Pharisees all the time was because they would never use sound reason and judgment. It was just this uh, you know, blanket, nope, this is what we do because this is what God said the law was. And Jesus kept trying to move them to the middle, that you know, move them to the place where can you can you can you use reason? You have a mind. You have you, you have a mind to. I gave you a mind. God gave you a mind to use and to reason and use sound judgment and to care. And yet, you know, Jesus got to the place with the Pharisees where it was like you you've gone completely off you know, off the rails where you're not even helping my, you know, God's people anymore. You just don't care. You're just, it's the, oh, this is the way it has to be. It's so rigid. And, and I guess what really I find infuriating from all of the far right Christians is while they carry on in the debate about, about life and conception and, and, and all of this stuff, I don't, I don't, I don't think God holds them any of them on a pet and some like you know, oh you're so holy because none of them, none of them, no matter what religion they're in, want to call out the Catholic Church and the major child sexual abuse. You know, I mean, we have we we have Catholic charities at the border that's helping illegal immigrants come across yet. Ellie Beth Stuckey does, wants to talk about how the left has hijacked um, empathy. No, I mean, she, she shows me that she doesn't have empathy, not true empathy. She's no different than the left that uses fake empathy. There's fake empathy on the left and there's fake empathy on the right. I'm talking about true caring. And when it comes to true empathy and true caring, you have to use reason and sound judgment because part of life is having a mind so that you can use sound reason and judgment. So when you're a hypocrite, and I've said before how much God hated, how much in the Old Testament and the New Testament, absolutely hated hypocrites, hated them. I mean, that, that woe to hypocrites over and over again, Jesus said, that's how much he hated it. Flipping the tables, you hypocrites. So that's how I look at the far right, is you carry on and on about abortion and, and you're going to go lobby to Trump and, and change his mind. Okay, fine. 
Do you think that's going to change our world when you, you same people, and I mean, I don't mean, I don't know you, so, but when those same people, these big media people, you know, that, that are so over-holy because um, we, we believe, you know, uh, no, no matter what, we don't care if a child is raped, we don't care about any of the circumstances around how they got pregnant. All we will stand up for is, is that this is what it has to be done. No, never can um, abortion be considered in those cases. So to me, that's like, woe to you, Pharisees. Don't want to use sound reason. Don't want to use judge. You know, you don't want to do any thinking for yourself. Just, oh, I'm so holy because I stand up for life. Do you? Because, I mean, if you really, if you go back to the very beginning and consider life, God said man. I mean, it was created once man was man. Once man had a mind and a heart. That that was the life. So even though there's a heartbeat it doesn't, it's, it's not in a capacity of a reasoning mind at all. But more than that, it's just the hypocrisy because these same people, I, none of their episodes are ever about the mass child abuse that has been done to children in the Catholic Church. So I, I think they're hypocrites and God hated hypocrites. So you can, you, people can argue about the abor abortion stuff all they want. I, I don't think it bends the needle with God at all because those same hypocrites don't want to call out the massive child abuse in the church. They've helped cover it up. In Candace Owens' case, okay, she became a Catholic, yet Allie Beth Stuckey, what in, it was less than a year ago, went on the Candace Owen podcast and debated, because Allie Beth Stuckey's a Protestant, debated with Candace Owens and her husband about where we differ in the Bible. Well, where uh, both of you are wrong is that neither one of you and your religions or denominations call out the massive child abuse done by the Catholic Church. They protect it. So does Glenn Beck, never talks about it. So don't be a hypocrite and, and carry on that you, you care so much about life when you don't care at all about the millions of children over the almost 75 year history of the Catholic, or 75 years of the Catholic uh, Church abuse to children. Because that's the way I see that God would look at it as you're a hypocrite. You don't care about those lives, but you will, you will pray outside an abortion clinic. And let's remember, I mean, God did say pray, you know, pray privately, you know, don't go, go, go showing your holiness um, you know, you're so holy to everyone. He didn't like that. He said, pray in your closet. Yeah, don't, don't go running around telling people, you know, your good deeds. It doesn't mean anything. So, yeah, it's just an opinion. I, don't, I disagree with um, this, a lot of this argument because I think that um, God gave us a mind to use, not to just be, um, act like a Stepford wife wife and more importantly act like a hypocrite which Jesus hated the hypocrites so when you never never I mean the biggest problem we have is is the trafficking Catholic charities is involved in Catholic Church itself is involved in trafficking where's where's Glenn Beck Candace Owens Allie Beth Stuckey calling that out nowhere so to me they're no different than the Pharisees so more than anything what I can't stand is the hypocrisy so if people really want the country to be better, if people really want to care about life, then they should be damn sure that they care about all life.